We are Five Live. I'm Bobby T. And I'm Tim. And today we are talking about bite sticks. You should build one. I should Hadouken you. Hadouken! <laughs> Alright guys, we are back and we are going to be talking about some bite sticks today. This one being one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Tim has a few, so we brought them in, and we're going to start talking if about you, them. If you've ever owned a PS3 or a 360, you probably already bought this fight stick in Absolutely. some iteration, whether it had, like, a WWE skin on it or something. One of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, it was called WWE Superstars, and they made a special fight stick of this. And you literally, it was the best, most customizable fight stick of all time for those two systems. It, again, PS3, 360. This particular one was from 360 and us being pinball fanboys you know threw a bunch of shit into it did a custom skin he did that for me uh but added pinball yeah we flippers. added side just flippers so that everything we you pinball possibly FX. can imagine just the best fight stick in all of creation so when we would play pinball fx we would literally just actually play pinball and then um, really kind of actually brought our game to a whole new level yeah. once it, it felt real you know but but not not only that it just was like a, a fight stick you could throw whatever buttons you bought online like full-on sandlot everything you needed eight-way gate everything just the best most customizable fight stick you and could it ever dropped see in that yeah. was a lot of it was just dropping so um getting this off was a little kind of hard because you had to take the bottom plate off um, then this top plate was like glued in, or the, the original skin. I the original on top skin, was like yeah. Really like, glued down. Of, like there was, there's also a hori stick, which was a six button stick, but that one the um, actual board was soldered to all of the buttons. So that one was a pain. Yeah, in I hand. did not like, like that. It was a nice, like as far as a stick went, you could pull the stick out, put your own stick in, do that. But the actual buttons were soldered to, directly to a board, which is how I built my first stick. Was a friend was like. I'm going to customize a stick and ordered buttons, did all this. And I was like, cool, whatever. And he complained to the site because his buttons didn't show up. And then he got double buttons. I now, I just, like, uh, I, I just kind of realized something funny. Um, your head is going to disappear at the top of it. Because we are in front of a green screen right now. This is going to be hilarious. No, I can't wait for just that. Hat. That's fine. <laughs> it's going to look like just like... Look but at yeah, so that, that old hoary stick, like... It was like a really good, good stick, but like this was still my favorite. Like I, I um, actually, that, again, that's uh, Scud, the disposable assassin. I had tweeted Rob Schraub when he printed the, out the whole thing for me. To hit, I had tweeted him about it. Him and his wife both said amazing, and they wanted one. One of like, my, like one of the highlights of my <laughs> tweeting career was the only way to put it. Like, and we never made those. It. We never made more of them. Yeah. So Rob Schraub can clearly suck it. Uh, according, man, to, I would, according to our, I would our still hang making out with them. I'd totally still hang out with him. Oh, he does not want to hang out with us. No, he does not. No, he the restraining order not. said absolutely not. No, so no. I have actually used the guts of this on a few different occasions. I've, I've made a few sticks where I've just kind of changed out buttons, put the Senwa buttons in and the different 8-gate stuff. Um, I've changed the graphics for it. I've done different paint jobs. But what I like doing most with this one, because of the way the interior board was, um, you could really scoop the guts out of this and put it in any Yeah. So we made ones of old Nintendos. Yep. I had a, I had the original model PS3. If you remember, it's that huge like curvature of the, big, the earth, yeah, the like, big blue, the one thing. Had, yeah. Like I had one of those that I took the guts out of one of these, turned that into a fight stick in that thing, and everyone's like, "How'd you do that?" Like I don't know. I just you just the kind of take the guts, drill some holes, yep. bam, fight <laughs> stick. Except it weighed like twelve ounces, so you had to throw some weight into it. Yeah. Well, that was the issue with it. It was just these hollow boxes. Um, I did one out of an attache case, mm -hmm. like a metal attache case. You did one out um, of an NES. Which yeah, is I did still the my NES. favorite. The NES one is still my favorite. So those ones I use now. Normally the Senwa is a, is a it's a shallow button. It's a shallow button with a different kind of click to it. I like the Hap Suzo buttons, which are a little bit deeper with a different kind of switch at its base. Um, I also like old school gaming a little bit more, so they kind of have that more of an arcade feel for the older arcades. Uh, the Senwa would be the new style arcade games, yeah. like the Tekkens and stuff like that are going to use, because it's a little more, uh, the response is a little better. Yeah, you get um, that same, this that click sound. That click, yeah, and, and the uh, the HAP has a different type of click to it. So uh, we'll do actually some more episodes later on about uh, the difference in these. So what's the other stick you got here? Uh, so the other stick is, and here's where the uh, meat of me getting angry is, <laughs> the biggest waste of money I've ever had. Not gonna lie, 
I love the stick. It's actually a beautiful stick. The problem is that, so, I mean, it's a huge stick. Ugh, take everything out, throw that all out, whatever. A very so, used copy of same, Disney Infinity. Yeah, very used. So, same exact company, Mad Cats, produced a amazing group of sticks. This stick, very customizable to the point of, like, they're just like, you know, whatever you want to do to it. Except, the problem was, coming off the, I don't know, what it is, what's the word for it? The popularity, just whatever it is, of the 360, yeah. rolling into the Xbox One, everyone expected, all right, cool, we could do whatever we want. So, Microsoft and Mad Cats were like, all right, cool, make a fight stick, we have this Killer Instinct. So, this game, it's a Killer Instinct, if you don't know, is one of those, like, amazing fighting games from back in the day on Super Nintendo, like... Just one of the better 198 point combo. Yeah, just ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. So anyway, like, you know, you're just like, all right, cool. And Madcast, they had a couple of really good tournament sticks, even on 360. So this stick comes out, and I'm like, all right, cool. With 360, or with Xbox One, I'm like, cool, I'm just going to buy I a stick. I remember how excited I was so stick you were. excited. Every day we talk about this. So excited. And I don't even remember what it cost. Like, you know, I think it was over 200 bucks. Yeah, it was over 200 bucks. So anyway, coming off of the fame of the three, the 360, Xbox or Microsoft, Xbox, whatever, expected, cool, we'll just deal with that, except they went the other way. Like, everyone was like, we're just going to buy a PS4, because whatever. And this thing ends up being a exclusive stick to the Xbox One, to the point of, it's an Xbox One driver inside, so if you plug it into your computer... It shows up as an Xbox One controller, which means it shows up for Killer Instinct and a couple of other fighting games yeah, that, like allow, yeah. that allow it to, to be a uh, controller yeah. for That's your computer. Weak. So here's the rub of it is that I have options with this stick. And again, they, they, they designed it to be as custom customizable as you want. Open it up. Literally. Why wow, you can in. even change the gate? They like gave they, you everything you wanted gate to, to do. Eight. So I have options with this stick, and by the options I mean I can spend a hundred and thirty dollars to buy a couple of other PCB boards yeah. to make it actually a USB controller because this shows up as an Xbox One controller on your stick That's on your weak. on your PC. And again, hmm. this is nothing against Madcast. I like this is actually against Microsoft in this situation. Weird. Where it just shows up as an Xbox controller. Or I can buy like one of those like Cronus Max things for like 60, 70 bucks where mm. it like goes in between the USB plug and whatever you're plugging into and then it will plug it into whatever. Yeah, and then anything will plug in. Yeah. Or I can buy the the inside the internal version where it will like do the same thing, except I can just plug just it in. Just fall on board. Okay. Yeah, so like it's like a fight it's a fight. Like I, I love the stick and I love all the buttons, like Every part of it, it's all the exact arcade components for mm -hmm. the best fight stick you can possibly buy. But it's but they fucked me. Yeah. Oh, it's your own. That <laughs> straight far. up, straight up that Ooh, hard. Geez. Straight up that hard. Do I add the beep or not? I mean, you can. Mm. I don't care. Because he is talking about in the butt. I'm assuming. Nah, I don't no, know. We'll no, have to figure no, out how the beep the works. So we'll have to figure out. But they definitely hurt me. Like I mouth. could pull, I could pull all this plexi out and put up whatever graphics I want in it. Uh, when you plug it in, everything lights up. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite fight sticks. Doesn't have the pinball stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, and, that, that is. And to go to go, in, to go in, into an even weirder thing with Xbox One again, riding off that whole like Microsoft was riding on their own coattails, and when the new uh, Pac-Man came out mm. on Xbox One, I literally sent them an email because I could plug in that uh, the other the other fight stick we were just showing. Mm -hmm. To play the backwards compatible one with an arcade stick and play it just fine. However, with the new Pac Man, just look at the controller. Like, they have no, no claw. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. I love playing Pac Man CE with that, the other Mad with a, Cat's with, controller. With a, with a stick. It felt great to j really just stand there. Uh, we got the Dave tables from IKEA, yeah. and we would stand there in front of the TV yep. and basically put it to that right height. And then, and then it just felt like there. an arcade stick. Jam it out. felt just right. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, man. I, I This is a little of a disappointment, especially knowing that the alternatives are out there. But that's my question to you, is should I just do a 
the USB pass through, which mm-hmm. is they claim it's no lag, but yeah, yeah, okay. or I can just buy the PCB internal boards, but then I have to cut some shit and do some stuff. You know what? But I, it costs I think a little more. Cutting and doing stuff has never been our problem. It and hasn't. And getting the better product is really what's there. With fighting games, you're dealing with milliseconds yeah. when it comes to the difference between blocking something and getting destroyed. So, But in the end of the um, day, I'm really just looking for Pac-Man and Pinball. That is true, <laughs> but you know, the same thing is for Pac-Man. Yeah. It, when it comes to turning a corner, it, you're, yeah. it's it's a moment's notice and kind of thing. So at, at, at Barcade, it was funny. One day, oh, they had the four-player Pac-Man Championship Edition, and I was like, can you do spark? Oh, you can spark. And like one of the guys is like, what do you mean spark? I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah You're in for a game right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Powering up through spark, and it's, it's awesome. Such yeah. a cool game. Um, so I think... I, still, uh, I, I would love to use a stick more, but I've literally put zero time into the stick, and yeah. I hate the fact that I spent... A lot of a money. A lot of money. We'll just say a, a lot, lot of money. money. More more stick. than necessary. And it kills me. I want to... The stick is... It's awesome. It's got the weight. It's got all the components. It really does. The weight is... It's is, so, is actually it's such nice. a great stick. And I... Oh, Microsoft. So, I have a Windows phone. With that <laughs> Windows phone, we have been 5 Live. I am Bobby T. And I'm Tim. And he is not very good at getting on his cues <laughs> real fast, but Look, that's man. okay. Uh, check us out at 5 Live VP on all the social networking platforms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, we have a Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash 5 Live VP. We will be at New York Comic Con this year using hashtag 5 Live NYCC. We'll be doing giveaways, a bunch of live stuff, a lot of episodes and interviews, and we may even get some sneak peeks in there. So uh, like, share, and subscribe, and get notifications. It'll really help us out. Uh, let me know what you think. think. You know, yeah, in the comments, let us know. Just be passed through or just full on cut everything out, gut it, and put the actual PCBs that'll let me use this on anything. How deep of an operation is he willing to yeah. do all of the operations?